Okay, I'm gonna walk through steps 81 through 90 of Free Code Camp's new responsive web designs second project, Learn Basic CSS by Building a Cafe Menu. Okay, so what we can actually do is change what our link looks like depending on whether someone has clicked it or not. I mentioned that in the past video that it could be blue or purple. So blue by default is what the color of an anchor is when you have not yet visited the link and when you have, then it turns purple. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change what it looks like when it has been visited. So um, we're gonna use, so the way that you do it is you choose the CSS selector property. So in this case, it's A um, for the anchor tag and we're gonna do visited. So now if you visited, we're gonna change the color to gray like that. So since I have visited the website, now that link is gray. Okay, so for the next one, we're gonna change what it looks like when someone is hovering. So again, the selector is A. It could be a class, it could be dot, uh, dot item if we wanted to change what the item looked like. But um, we're gonna doing A and, it, and we're gonna put hover and then color brown. So I'm gonna hover over the link. Oh, it changes color, isn't that cool? Just a little, bring a little attention that this is interactive. We can click that link and it takes us somewhere else. Okay, so the next one we're gonna do is uh, change active. So when you're actually clicking the link, this is the color it will be. So we're gonna make it white, but that's what it asks. So you can't tell what it is right now, but when I click it, briefly, it'll turn white. So as the link is cl clicked, it turns white like that. You see it flashes white. Okay, so we actually wanna just keep it to the same color scheme that we have been using. So we want visited links um, to be black and then um, we just want everything else to be brown. It was fun having it white, but it doesn't match the color scheme that we're going for right here. So we're gonna change the margin at the top of this header one because this is a little bit too much space so we're just gonna make the margin on the top zero. So every um, element of HTML, or most at least, has some sort of default CSS that's just applied through the browser. So this automatically has some uh, extra margin on the top, and we just wanna get rid of it. So uh, we're gonna change margin top to zero. We don't have to do zero pixels or zero um, percent or zero. There's a lot of different um, uh, ways that you could say zero. You could do zero like that. Um, just depending on the unit, but actually when you have zero, it's fine to just put zero because it doesn't matter what units, zero is always zero. It means the same thing no matter the units. If it's miles, meters, whatever, zero is always the same. So that's why we don't need it. Okay, so next uh, we're gonna decrease this gap right here. It's a little bit too much. And so we're gonna change the margin bottom to uh, 15 pixels. We don't want it to be zero, that's a little, that's not, an, uh, Oops, maybe I can spell, there we go. So we don't want it to be too much or too little. We think 15 is just fine and it, it fits, uh, it looks like it's uh, spaced nicely between the HR as well. So that looks good. So next we're gonna make an address class. And we're gonna change the margin of the margin bottom to five. Pixels, it's important to include units. And again, nothing has changed. The look doesn't change, uh, hasn't changed at all because we haven't added it to any, um, any elements here, but we are right now. So we're gonna change the class attribute or we're gonna add it in. And we're gonna make it address. And right there, there's a little bit less spacing right there on the bottom. So next uh, we wanna add an image. And if you remember images are a self-closing tag. So we can either do like that or we can add that closing slash like that, it doesn't really matter. So remember, there's two really important things that we have to have add to all images. We want a source, that's how we actually load the image. And then we also want an alt. And we're, this one, we're gonna load a coffee icon, so our um, alt is coffee icon. Right now, our image isn't being able to, be, to load because we haven't added a source yet, so it just says coffee icon, that's a placeholder. But our link to the image is right here. And again, if I open a new tab and I visit that image, this is what it looks like. And so we're just gonna load that into our own website right there. 
Now the next issue is that image doesn't look that great. It's not centered in the middle. So what we want to do is we're going to just target all images and we want to center them. So we're going to change display to block and we're going to do margin left auto and margin right auto. If you can remember right here, this is how we centered the menu on the background image by doing margin left auto and margin right auto. And now we did the same thing to that image and there it is centered. 